A student is taking a standardized test with several multiple choice questions. One point is awarded for each correct answer. There are eight options for each question. The student is penalized a quarter of a point, one-fourth of a point, for each wrong answer. Answers that are left blank don't get credit, nor do they lose credit. So you don't receive or lose points for a blank question. If a student randomly guesses on a question, what is the expected number of points received or lost? And we want to round our final result to two decimal places. And once you look at that result, we want to decide whether or not guessing is really a good idea. So let's take it one thing at a time. If you're taking a standardized test and you're looking at a particular question, there are only two possibilities. You either get it right or you get it wrong. So I'm building my table up, but there are only two choices. You either get it right or you get it wrong. I want to know what the expected number of points received or lost is, so I've got to figure out what happens in each case. I get one point for a correct answer. So if I get it right, I get a point. But if I miss it, I'm penalized. I lose one-fourth of a point, so that's where the negative comes in. But remember, I want to take probability but remember, I want to find the probability of those things happening as well. I have to have the values, but I also have to have the probability of those values. So what is the probability? If you're just randomly guessing, what is the probability of getting the right answer just by just guessing? Well, look what it says. It says there are eight options for each question. So you've got a one out of eight chance. If you don't know the answer, you don't know, have any idea whether, what's right and what's wrong, and you're just guessing, you have a one-eighth chance of guessing right. That means, of course, that you have a seven-eighths chance of guessing wrong. And, of course, once you've got this far into the table, you're home free because to find the expected value, you take the points times the probability of those points and multiply. So you take one times one-eighth, which is 1 8, and you take minus a fourth times 7 8, which is negative 7 30 seconds. Now you want to add those together. Remember, you can't add fractions without a common denominator. So in, in order to add 8 and 30 seconds, you have to change to a common denominator you have to change to a common denominator of 32. So if you take the 1 8 and multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 4 you'll get 4 30 seconds. So you end up with 4 30 seconds minus 7 30 seconds, which of course is negative 3 30 seconds. And if you make that into a decimal rounded to two places, that comes out to negative 0 0.09. So that's the expected number of points received or lost. And remember it's negative. The final question was should you guess? In other words, is guessing randomly, totally randomly, a good idea? And you should be able to see if the sign is negative. That is not a good idea. That means you're most likely to lose points if you are just randomly guessing. So if you had a positive expected number of points, it'd probably be a good idea just to randomly guess. But if it's a negative expected number of points, then that means it's not a good idea just to randomly guess.